Welcome small group leaders. In this video we're going to get you set up so that you can start using the I Pray You prayer app for your ministry and your congregation. Uh, first of all the I Pray You prayer app is available for mobile devices. Uh, it's mobile based as well as web based. So all that being said, uh, just go to www.iprayu.org. And as a leader of a small group, uh, you're one of the prayer partners. So you can click on there or you can click on down here on prayer partners, whichever one you want to. It's, it's fine. Just click on one of them. And then it's going to open up the screen here. It's going to ask for the, your email address and password. And if this is the first time you're logging in, you're going to use the password that was given to you by whoever signed you up. So that might have been your pastor, that might have been uh, your prayer one of your prayer coordinators or one of your elders, but whoever it was, they gave you a password. So you're going to put in your email address and password right here and click login. And I'm going to uh, do the same thing, but I'm going to be uh, signing in to the uh, actual uh, to an actual uh, prayer database for uh, outreach we're doing in Newark, and I'm going to be signing in in the role of a uh, small group leader in this prayer database. So you put your information in there. Click on login. And that's going to bring you to this page. Uh, obviously, you're going to click the home button. And then here is your home screen. So just to again get you orientated as you're getting set up, it's a very simple app. There's just seven buttons to it. And I always tell people it's kind of like a, a flat-headed screwdriver. It's just a real simple tool. Uh, by God's grace, hopefully there's a lot of great things that uh, God will do through you with it. Uh, so the top two buttons are all about the prayers of the church. So you want to know anything about the prayers of the church? Use the top two buttons. You want to know anything about the people who are doing the praying? Use the next two buttons. Down here's a real important button. It's the prayer event calendar. We're going to talk about that in the last video. Your church button and yourself. And, uh, you know, as a leader of a small group, your role in the prayer app and in the prayer ministry is just, it's a really an important role and you're a big blessing to your pastor. Because a small group leader, you can focus the people and resources of your small group or uh, Bible study to help with specific prayer requests. Uh, you can take the prayer requests from Sunday morning and do something with them. Um, you know, when you're having uh, your, your time together with other people from your small group, you can... Um, pull up the app, pull up the uh, prayer database on, on, on your laptop or tablet or whatever device, device it is, um, even a projector if you want to, and have a very factual based, uh, factual conversation about the ministry. And you're going to find that um, your ministry within your small group is going to become more prayer focused and prayer based as opposed to simply program based. Um, with the app, you can update the care for the prayers that you and your small group have volunteered to serve. You can add connection information regarding the people that you're praying for. You can edit the prayer calendar. That's uh, this button down here. We're going to look at that in the last video. Uh, you can edit information on, on your small group, and uh, you can volunteer to help with prayer requests. So a lot of important things that you do as a small group leader in this. And so I just uh, thank God for you and your desire to help out in the prayer ministry in your congregation. So uh, let's click on the Me button there, lower right-hand corner. It's going to pull you up there. And then this is uh, just really kind of cool because what you can do here is you can uh, choose a file, uh, a picture of yourself that you would like to uh, upload to share with uh, the uh, people in your church's um, prayer ministry database. And so... Um, for me, uh, one of my favorite pictures is my wedding picture. No, oh, I know. Okay, and so then it's just that simple. You click on that, and uh, it'll upload it there. So then you know it's there. Um, you know this is for your small group. So you know your small group so they might say, "Hey, why have your wedding picture there? Why do you have a picture of the whole group?" Okay, so you know you can change the pictures as many times as you want to. So maybe some of your small groups having their wedding anniversary. You know you put that in there. You know somebody might be getting old. They might be turning fifty or something like that. You know who knows somebody like that. So anyhow, then uh, you know. You put your, your name in here as a leader of the group, you know, your CFW Walter or whatever your name is, <clears throat> and then you uh, put in when you meet, uh, where you meet, and uh, you put your current focus, phone, email, put in your password. Anytime you put in any more information, uh, change the information, you need to uh, validate your password or create a new password. It's just one of the safety features in this. And then click submit and 
that's it you're you're good so now what's kind of cool is um, you can go back to here and then you can see your picture so you click on the uh, prayer ministry members button there you're a small group right and so you click on the uh, small group button button number two and dun, da, 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 there you go there's your picture so it's kind of cool you know if you've ever been part of helping the church put together you know a pictorial directory and days gone by, uh, you know how much work and fun that is. Um, so what's cool about this, everybody can upload their own pictures. They can change them as many times as they want to. You know, people can put their pictures of their grandkids in there or whatever. I mean, it's just you just get to know each other within the church. You know, they say a picture is worth a thousand words, right? So if you're working off your smartphone, you can call right off the screen. Whatever sort of device you're using, you can email off the screen. And we'll get into this later, but uh, it's, just, it's just a lot of cool stuff. So... Um, this is how you get set up and get started. In the next video, we're going to look at the uh, prayers of the church and how you uh, get into that information and what you can do with that information uh, through those two buttons right there.